Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me in orbit with a rather special craft. This is a two kilometer long space station. Yes, you may remember uh, a while ago I did a video on a one kilometer long space station, and I showed how I tried to build it, and then eventually that didn't work because of some KSP physics bug, and then I ended up launching it with Hyperedit and stuff, and then I did a video where I deorbited it, and that was cool, but I thought, no, none of that was cool enough. We need to double the size. We need a two kilometer space station, and there is more than just making it bigger behind this. I have a cool idea I'll show you in a second, but basically, this is the space station. I pretty much just grabbed um, the space station by the end and attached it again, so it's just two of the one kilometer space stations. And I think it's probably actually only like 1,900 meters? Um, let's see, I don't think it says. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty intense. I Its mass is 4,800 tons. It's 1,800 parts, obviously about two kilometers long. Um, and it costs about eight million funds uh, just for the uh, just just for the space station. I've noticed there's another craft nearby. Um, oh no! Oh, we're not going to encounter the other space station, are we? That'd be really bad. That'd be some. That that'd be that be some. I'm just going to time warp past it. I don't want to have to load in two space stations. I mean, that's only a tiny little one kilometer long space station, but uh, we still don't want to have to load it in. So we're just going to zoom right past that and not think about it. Um, obviously, I just hyper edited it into orbit. Um, well, I actually didn't hyper edit it. I used the uh, built in cheat menu. Um, and the footage of that will be now. So basically, as soon as the space station launches, I fire up the cheat menu and hit set orbit, which has already got set to a reasonable, orb reasonable orbit. Now, because I had to hack gravity to not make it explode instantly, we have to unhack gravity um, after a quick. Quick set. Oh no, it's actually doing its physics easing. Basically, it hadn't even really launched properly by the time I hit uh, set orbit. Anyway, but now we're only traveling 200 meters per second because gravity's turned way down, so we're gonna unhack gravity and then we're gonna have to very quickly switch to the orbit editor and put ourselves back in orbit um, because we're gonna be on a pretty serious suborbital trajectory. And you wouldn't want to see this burn up, would you? Well, you will at the end of the video, but not right now, we have things to do. And that is our two kilometer space station in orbit, looking rather beautiful. But now, now I want to test my little thing. Basically, the reason I wanted it to be two kilometers wasn't just some arbitrary, I want it to be longer. It was, I want to be able to fly out of physics range, fly right back in, and when it loads in, a portion of the space station is right in front of me. So it's kind of like warping in, kind of Star Trek style. Um, so we get a Kerbal out, uh, Valentina, of course. And we're after a long loading time, a lot of loading times uh, making this video. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Finally out. Basically, you can see the uh, mark is actually right at one end of the station, like, because I've set the root part to be right at the end of the station, so I don't have to have a four kilometer space station to test this. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly the other way, fly through some of these rings, uh, these gravity rings. Um, they're pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, those, they all have, well, that one's a science ring right in front of us, the other one's a habitation ring, I think there's another science ring behind it. And then a fueling ring behind that, and a docking ring. And it's pretty cool, I do like flying through these rings, it looks really nice. It's got so many labs on it, you could crap quantum theory in a day. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many actually, I've never counted. Um, just kind of built the rings. But yeah, I think they look pretty good. And this takes a while, so I'll just sh show you some cuts. You can see the very end modules. Those are the solar panels. If you remember from the one kilometer space station, they were pretty wimpy. I had this idea of having this massive one kilometer long space station with these giant solar panels, and it would look awesome. But I built the solar panels before I built the whole station, and they turned out looking really, really wimpy. But yes, anyway, so now we're just getting away from the uh, space station. Um, this is in post-commentary, of course, uh, hence all the edits. Because my live commentary, this took surprisingly long, actually, because of the, yeah, uh, because of various things. So uh, I think my live commentary kind of fell apart quite quickly. Um, anyway, but yes, we fly through the rings, and now we just need to fly across and uh, exit load range. Valentina just about to turn around, get a final look at the space station before the Kraken probably destroys it, but it actually doesn't. It works surprisingly well in this. And then we load out, I think. Yeah, there we go. We're just backing off. Um, loading out takes a while. I've never experienced uh, a pause while loading out. Um, but yeah, it was about like four minutes where I thought it was going to crash, and that's why my love commentary was a bit eh, and kind of lots of, lots of nothing happening. Um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I think the pause is a 
about to happen, but I'll spare you that and uh, just show it disappearing. <gasps> oh my god, it's gone right from in front of our eyes. Rather impressive. Yes, um, now we're going to fly right back towards it, um, and the, it loads in slightly at a slightly shorter distance than it loads out. So as we fly in, um, we should start to see it around 2.2 kilometers. So we just need to, well actually it's been a bit of a pause now as it's about to pop in. That's bad timing. As it's about to pop in. As it's about to, okay, there it is. Oh my god, it's like it just warped in out of nowhere. That's the whole reason I did this, just to see that. Don't worry, you'll get to see it deorbiting, but I, th I thought that'd be cool. You load in and it's right there, what the hell? And also, it's just cool to have a two kilometer space station. One kilometer space station's a w uh, for wimps. Um, the other one kilometer space station did fly by earlier, I think. <laughs> but yes, anyway, Valentina looking very happy. Now we're just gonna head back along the station, get in, um, and yeah, I would have left her here, um, cause I didn't want her to burn up, but for some reason, Kerbal Space Program thinks I'm on a ladder right now? It's like, yeah, super weird. There's been lots of improvements in 1.2 and 1.3, but uh, it still thinks I'm on a ladder for some reason. I'm not on a ladder. But yeah, no, 1.2 really improved performance. If you watch the original uh, one kilometer space station video, it just, it lagged like, ins it lagged insanely and the physics just broke. Even when I hyper edited it into orbit, it just kind of exploded. But 1.2 added auto struts, better physics, and a massive performance increase. So I could do the one kilometer space station quite easily. Um, with hyper edit, obviously, and then, um, but it's actually allowed me to do a two kilometer space station, so I'm very, I'm very happy with that. Anyway, to the solution to my on a ladder problem is just to get near the door and board. And now all of the girls are in the space station, and now they can go on a little adventure, an adventure to go home to the death, to the place where you die, because the only way home is down. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. So after hyper editing my orbit a little, well, after editing my orbit a little bit so it passes over a certain country, uh, for those of you who watch Full of Kerbin, you'll know that this is passing over Cruola. Yes, we're dropping a two kilometer space station on Cruola. A bit of revenge for the war we are losing. If you don't watch the channel, it'll make no sense, but basically it's a different series I do with uh, the Beardy Penguin where we have a bit of a war. Anyway, so I hyper edit the, uh, well, no, I edit the gravity to, um, I hack the gravity to be 10 times normal gravity. Um, I keep saying hyper edit because that's the mod I would usually use. And then we're going to descend towards the ground. Um, and because of the size of this uh, spacecraft, it's going to be at 12 times speed. So initially it'll look jank as hell. But uh, you'll see why this isn't necessary pretty soon. So we start hitting the atmosphere, getting some beautiful burning effects. And then modules start to explode. And you can see why it needs to be at 12 times speed. And yes, it's looking rather beautiful. Um, <laughs> you can see things ripping apart. I actually just left. There was actually a black frame there where I um, where I stopped recording and hit recording again. And because there just wasn't a new frame for like 30 seconds, it just had 30 seconds of dead footage. Um, because it just couldn't get a frame. But yes, it's, it, it's still pretty bad frame rates as you can see. It's still probably seconds per frame for the most of it. But you do get an idea of how this looks as it exploded and it starts to bend and looks beautiful. But what I didn't realize is I may have left a couple of cheats on from when I was launching the space station and maybe we had unbreakable joints and no crash damage on. So it's only enduring heating damage, which means anything that survives will stay together and survive when it hits the ground. And that has an interesting effect, as you'll see in a minute. But for now, we'll just watch the rings disintegrate. Yes, you can see the smaller gravity rings are just falling apart. The ones held together by four struts are doing okay, although the one over there on the left is, uh, it's seen better days. <laughs> It's really come. Oh, they've all exploded now. Yeah, there go the rings. It's flexing like a madman. But um, but yeah, it's 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 held, held together pretty well. A lot of that main central beam is still there. It's just the extremities that have really exploded. And now we start to get some kind of very inconsistent frame rates as it falls towards the ground. And we'll slow down to just four times time accelerate to save the nausea. Um, and you can just see it starts flopping around. I wasn't even in the room at this point. I think I was just. Um, doing something else. So I didn't see this until I came back just before it hit the ground. So I didn't know to turn off uh, unbreakable joints and no crash damage. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because this looks so awesome and it's just going to land on the ground. It's just flopping around. And now it's just going to plummet towards the ground where it will slam into the ground and not destroy itself. And uh, it's about a kilometer above the surface and there it goes like a giant piece of rope. Lying on the ground. Yes, we've built Kerbal Rope. 
indeed we have. Anyway, and that's been the video. It's been a bit of a casual one. It was just a bit of fun to see uh, if I could get that cool, like, warping in effect going and also what happens when you deorbit it, especially when you leave some cheats on. I think that's really cool. And we've left the Corollans a little present. Um, <laughs> oh, and you can see out in the space around is where I deorbited the one kilometer space station. Um, and that one actually just exploded. And actually, some of the parts achieved 10 times the speed of light. But anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you want to go and see the original 1km Space Station video, that's on screen now, along with the time I deorbited the 1km Space Station and um, achieved the speed of light. That was pretty cool. There's also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description if you're interested. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tate. I will see you next time.